Dr. Frank Mrs. S. Negri Chikara. In this opportunity, I'd like to share our research with the, the title uh, scaffolding self-regulated learning through Android-based mobile media on hormone system. As you see, the era of 4.0 has brought so many dramatical, profound changes on how people around the world use technology in their life. Education is one of the aspects which has been greatly influenced by the emerging of so many of these technologies in the learning community. Various studies over the past decades have been exploring the advantage of technology where students engage with their learning material more effectively and avoid understanding easily using their, their own device. The term of bring your own device or use your own device uh, has been reflect students' lifestyles uh, lately since the digitalization era and also the pandemic era. The term of this bring your own device uh, including how they bring their laptop, tablet, smart, on and other mobile devices in learning. This kind of self-mobile learning is, uh, has been proven to exhibit steady learning progress and uh, study learning growth and retain more content knowledge. And moreover, it, moreover it's also scaffold self-regulated learning where students set themselves to learn effectively. Self-regulated learning refers to learners' ability to plan, conduct, and evaluate their own learning. Study on self-regulated learning has been long kind, but the topic has gained light with the advances in digital technology and also the pandemic area. The self-regulated learning um, has three main purposes, purposes, which are improving knowledge of skill, preventing self-threat, uh, and loss of uh, uh, memory and it comprises uh, cognitive, metacognitive, uh, behavioral, motiva motivational and also emotional or effective aspect of learning. Many technology has been brought to promote self-regulated learning on cognitive perspective uh, one of them is Android-based uh, mobile media. Android-based mobile media has been increasingly employed in education where educational institutions uh, are seeking the best media to be applied and promote self-regulated learning. Uh, due to the benefit, uh, since the media is easily to be operated and then uh, representative, also flexible and capable to carry anywhere and can be used anytime. Android based mobile media can present interesting or even difficult material more enjoyable to students. Biology as one of interesting lesson uh, sometimes is difficult to be understand, especially based on it analysis. We have found that hormone system has been coined as one of difficult material to be learned by students. Uh, less study and less research has been found to uh, investigate uh, the use of Android-based mobile media to increase the self-regulated learning on hormone system. Uh, thus, this study aimed to develop Android-based mobile media on hormone system and investigate students' self-regulated learning of activity from the cognitive uh, perspective. The method that we use is a research and development method followed by effectivity of experimental method, one group pre and post test design. The research and development include uh, the use of small small-scale testing of 12 students, biology teacher, and also the large group testing of 30 students. And then the effectivity of the product uh, was analyzed in the cognitive domain of self-regulated learning, which comprised 60 students of grade 11 science class that we use by and we choose by Taro Yamane method. And then the analysis 
of the product feasibility and also self-regulated learning in cognitive effectivity that we do that we did by NGAIN and T-Test. As we see here, I have already also developed the instrument of the cognitive domain analysis with focus of the indicator on human hormone system material. The result of the development states that we have already uh, developed the Android best media on hormone system, which include the concept map and also the video about the material and also uh, the narration about the material. And we also include a game uh, about how to use how to use a word for hormone system material. The result of need uh, analysis and also uh, expert of the content, media, small group testing of media feasibility has proven that the media has the average score of 83.32% which categorize the media into a very feasible to be used in learning. And then the effectivity of the media that we analyze with pre and post test design uh, show the result of pre test on 63 and then the post test of 79. And the normalized scan result of the end gain value of uh, 0 0.41, which indicate that the uh, the product uh, able to increase the post-test result of students' uh, Android system material. And then the t-test result here, we see that the significance of 0, 0.0, which state that there was difference on pre-test and post-test average score mean there is an impact of the self-regulated learning using Android-based mobile media in cognitive domain of hormone system result. To conclude, this study indicated that Android-based mobile media learning on hormone system developed was very feasible to be used as a media of learning and scaffold student self-regulated learning on the cognitive perspective. The product ought to be applied in learning since it is not only increasing students' comprehension, but also increase uh, students' self-regulated as well as fostering independent uh, awareness in uh, learn better and mastering better for some, some materials. So this is all of my presentation. Thank you very much for watching. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, thank you for the video, very interesting topic. Uh, and now we are going to the discussion session. I'm welcoming for the audience and the questioner to using the chatting feature in your Zoom meeting and submit your question. Maybe for now, I limit it to only two questions first. So please, any question. Mrs. Pirahayu. Okay, I think Mrs. Pirahayu doesn't with us today. So uh, we will go into the next video. Yeah, I think we will go into the next video. Uh, the next video by Mrs. Shilina Retno Dewahrani for the title of the article, The Effect of Digital Group in Collaborative Multimedia Learning Model and Learning Motivation on Learning Outcomes. Okay, please uh, to the committee uh, for playing the video presentation by Mrs. Uh, Yulilina. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day ladies and gentlemen. I would like to say thank you to the moderator for this opportunity for me to present my research that I did alongside with Mahrawi Suprapto from Kuntirta. Entitled The Effect of Digital Book in CML or Collaborative Multimedia Learning Model and Learning Motivation on Learning Outcomes. Introduction I will explain about the research starting with presence of learning outcomes. Several factors affect our learning outcomes, one of which is learning motivation and learning media use. Further about flip book, one of the media that can be used in learning activity is a digital book developed using the flip book application to become interactive media. And then about Collaborative Multimedia Learning, or CML. Collaborative multi Multimedia Learning is one model that can help in constructing student knowledge. The use of this model by using computer-based multimedia makes students increase understanding. Method. This research was the science using associative analysis. The variables used in this study are learning outcomes, digital books, and learning motivation. Learning outcomes, S, uh, Y, digital books, X, 1, and learning motivation, X, S, X, the data collected through the motivation questionnaires and tests. We use pretest and post-test. The analysis technique uses statistical test analysis, namely the ANOVA two ways test. It is used to test the significance of First, the effect of digital books in the CM, CML model on learning outcomes. Second, the impact of learning motivation on learning outcomes. And the impact of digital books in the CML models and learning motivation on learning outcomes. Result and discussion. First, normality test. Uh, we use the Kolmogorov Smirnov test produce a symptom significance to tell more than 0 0.05, which it is a zero uh, six hundred and six. 61 and zero point nine hundred. The resulting significant level is more than five percent. Thus, the assumption assumption of data normal normality is met. The second homogeneity test using the test of homogeneity. Of variances produce significant more than 0 0.05, which is 0 0.103. The resultant significant level is more than 5%. Thus, the assumption of the data homogeneity is fulfilled. The third Based on the result of data processing, the result of the hypothesis, this can be concluded in the following this figure. You can see 
this feature about digital book in CML and learning motivation. So the effect of learning outcomes. Based on the unnoved way states, using this of between subject effect generates significant values, including digital book in the CML model together with learning motivation have a relationship and influence the learning outcomes with a significant value less than 0 0.05. Uh, it's a 0.002. So it assumes there is an influence. Digital book in the CMN model doesn't affect the learning outcomes with a significant more than 0.05 value, that is 0.8800. So it assumes there is no influence. Learning motivation gives an impact on learning outcomes with a significant value less than 0.05, namely 0 0.000. So it assumes that there is an influence. This show the selection of media and learning models will have a real relationship with learning motivation so that it causes an influence on learning outcomes. Learning outcomes will increase along with the selection of media and model as well as high student learning motivation. The conclusion, based on the dis discussion above, the conclusion drawn are as follows. First, increased learning motivation has a real impact on improved learning outcomes. A second, the use of digital books in the CML model is better than using printed books in the problem-based learning model to enhance learning outcomes. The third, the use of digital books in the CML model together with higher learning motivation are interrelated and influence each other on learning outcomes. Thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you for the video presentation by Miss Eshirina Retna Retno Dewahrani. Uh, Miss Eshirina Retno, are you here with us? So we can go into the discussion session for five minutes. I think Miss Eshirina present in here. Okay, for Mrs. Shulina, uh, not already in here, so we will go into the next video. After that, maybe if she is with us, we can go into the discussion session with the Mrs. Shulina. So uh, I will go into the next presentation by uh, Mr. Erwin Shah with the article, The Effect of Teleconference Class on the Environmental Knowledge in Higher Education. So please uh, play in the video. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day for everyone. Thank you very much for the organizer for giving me an opportunity to present my research 
on the effect of teleconference class on the environmental knowledge in higher education. The pandemic of coronavirus disease 2019 already encouraged school and university to change the way style of study from the conventional class to the distant learning. In early March 2020, the Jakarta Administration Office already decided to close all school and city. So, ask the student to study from home. The teleconference already used for education medium to strengthen interaction and collaboration, including to support distant learning. So, during the COVID era, number of uh, applications already used including Google Classroom, Skype, and Zoom. This research was taken place in the COVID-19 pandemic situation. So the data uh, used uh, from the study of the environmental science and the uh, subject of the study of the population of, and environmental uh, education uh, of the bachelor student and the magister student from the Indrapasta University of Jakarta. So the main output of this research, including the student willingness uh, to use the teleconference class and the student uh, environmental knowledge achievement uh, of the use uh, the teleconference class. So the study was conducted uh, from 28 March to the 30 May 2020. Uh, the data taken from the student uh, of the fourth semester of the bachelor student and the second semester of the magister student. The sample size was, the sample size was 196 students, including 70 students of bachelor uh, student and 124 students of magister student. So the data uh, collection taken after the seven class or the seven class meeting uh, with the Google form, uh, including the data on student motivation and the data on the student achievement. So data then presented in the graph and the data uh, processing using the SPSS statistical uh, software, including uh, normality test and homogeneity uh, test. The, the questionnaire uh, given to the student uh, consists of the uh, certain question. The result as follow the figure so the figure one uh, shows about uh, uh, 80, 87 percent of the student just learned the, the sky, including uh, I mean especially uh, bachelor student of 90 percent and magister student of 85 percent who just uh, knew the sky uh, whenever this uh, research uh, made. The figure two uh, shows the comparison between the Skype tele teleconference class compared to the conventional class. It shows that 73% uh, of the students support the Skype uh, tele uh, teleconference uh, class, mostly 68% uh, of the magister students. Uh, but most students uh, then uh, prefer uh, the conventional class compared to the a Skype uh, teleconference class whenever uh, the pandemic uh, is over, sourced by the 67% uh, of the student. The figure three shows that uh, about 87% of the student uh, feel uh, got a benefit from the Skype uh, tele teleconference class, uh, mostly uh, the Microsoft student of 65 uh, 65 percent. The figure uh, four uh, shows uh, that the uh, environmental uh, examination uh, score of the bachelor student higher than uh, score of the magister student. Uh, when we saw in bachelor student the comparison between male and female shows that the female got higher score uh, compared to the male. And in Magister Sudan, the score uh, was almost the same between the male and the female uh, student. 
uh, after uh, taking the statistical test, it shows that uh, uh, among those factors, only four uh, factors that uh, contribute a different impact to the uh, environmental knowledge examination score. There were, uh, number one, the student who uh, new learner compared to the student who not new learner. Uh, give a, give a, you know gave a different uh, score and number two is the uh, factor number two is uh, uh, the student who believe will get a better score uh, will get a different uh, you know score compared to the student who not uh, believe uh, will get the better score uh, factor number four is the student who easily understood. Uh, get a different score compared to the student who not easily understood. Uh, understood. And lastly, uh, factor number four is the student who expect to continue uh, uh, got a different score compared to the student who not expect to continue using the Skype. Uh, why is why was it happened? Because the Skype experience a student uh, will have uh, more you know, uh, benefit from the educational technology and mobile uh, learning, and the student who got uh, more experience on the Skype uh, may have enriched uh, you know, uh, the Skype can the, the knowledge can the experience of the Skype can enrich the, the student to learning uh, you know uh, the subject. Yeah. This is why the main benefit for the student who uh, have more Skype experience, and then the student who believe will get a better score uh, with the Skype will have, uh, you know, uh, additional uh, motivation to get a better score. And then factor number four, you know, the student who not easily understanding uh, for the subject, they pres uh, pressure him uh, themselves to study more. So they, uh, you know, get a better score because they study more on the subject. And then they think about, they thought about the difficulty, so they, they push themselves to study more. And lastly, the student who hope to continue using Skype when uh, it's possible, uh, it, if when it's not possible to st uh, study with the confessional class uh, because of the academic situation, so they got, uh, they have the more willingness to, and, and commitment to study, so they got a, bit, a better score compared to the student who not. Uh, hoping uh, to continue continue the study using Skype. So in the, in conclusion, I would say that uh, most of students have just learned the, the Skype teleconference. So the student willingness to use the Skype teleconference teleconference class shown by seventy three percent of the students gave their preference to use the Skype, and eighty seven of the students uh, they get a benefit from the Skype. So. There were uh, different contribution uh, of some of the factor to the environmental knowledge examination. The factor number number one is the new learner uh, will have a different uh, score compared to the not new learner. Uh, those students who believe uh, get the better score with the better score with the Skype uh, will get a different you know score examination score compared to the student who not believe will get a better score. And factor number three. Uh, the student who easily understood will get, uh, you know, different uh, uh, examination score compared to the student who not easily understood. Lastly, last factor was that the student who expect to continue using Skype get, uh, you know, uh, got a different uh, uh, score compared to the student who not expect to continue uh, the, 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 the Skype, uh, using the Skype. Uh, so, this, so there was the the conclusion. I will end my uh, presentation. Thank you very much, and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for the video presentation by Mr. Erwin. Yeah. Uh, okay. For the next session, uh, the discussion session, I will, uh, Mr. Erwin Shah. Are you in here with us now? Yes, I'm here. If there is um, any comment or question, I'll be very happy to respond. Uh, okay, uh, so for the other 
participants, participants and audience, you can submit your question to Mr. Erwin Shah by uh, chatting room in this Zoom meeting. Uh, the discussion session for five minutes. So, please, any question? Any question? No question. Everything is okay. Everything is okay. Is it good enough for uh, article by Mr. Erwin Shah? Very good. I will give uh, maybe one minute to waiting the question from the other participant. If there is no question, so thank you very much for this uh, your kindly attention. <laughs> okay, I think the there are no questions for Mr. Erwin Shah, so thank you for uh, your attention and we will can move to the next video presentation. Okay. Yeah, thank you Mr. Erwin Shah. Uh, I will go into the next video presentation by uh, Mr. Jamri Dafria uh, to, the to the title of article Transforming Instructional Model for Teaching and Learning Science in Islamic Higher Education. Yes, I do. Yeah, for the video, please. Uh, video or the, presentation? Uh, video presentation. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I cannot share that here. It's disabled. Uh, the, the disabled. Oh, I see. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello, everybody. My name is Jamri Dapinjan. I'm from the Department of Educational Technology Postgraduate Program in the University of Jakarta. In this time being, I am going to present my research. The title is Transforming Interactional Model for Teaching and Learning Science in Islamic Higher Education. Introduction. The current of this research on the best of today more than 48 million Facebook to the new setting in Indonesia actively involved in working on foreign funds, sharing content, communicating and collaborating activity with peer and group. On the other hand, lecture and students use Facebook only for information sharing and other academic information individual and group, but they do it informally. Objective of this research is to present a flat instructional model of teaching and learning science by Hanesi Facebook. I call this model is flow model, the flip learning of Facebook interactional model. Benefit of this research is integrate Facebook into science learning so that learning is accessible, cost efficient, and provide search for interaction for discussion, collaboration, and reflection online. Theoretical three reviews. Here I put only two theoretical reviews. One, but social media tool requires a Facebook tool raise, raise some opportunity to improve learning and promote learning. Two, social media provide ways to design meaningful learning, online learning. <coughs> Actively engage interaction between instructor, student, and high-quality learning experience using a variety of teaching strategies, technology support. <clears throat> the method I use in this research, I adapted from board and code model, research development. The procedure consists of research, research and collecting information planning, develop specific tools for product, early 
the trial, revising main product, main experiment, revising operational product, operating operational testing, as product revision and dissemination and implementation. The operational testing phase devices involve 30 students in of in Sultan Malaysia in Banten Fine Faculty. All of model mo all of learning model is implemented inside and outside the classroom that consists of two phases. Phases one, preparation, the lectures here, create a textbook group. Phase two, engagement, lecture upload matter for its meeting weekly. Phase three, exploration, the lecture will answer every question asked by daily student, explaining them to the problem discussion. Phase four, transformation, where students exchange ideas and conduct group discussion. Phase five, presentation. After finishing the discussion and compiling the report, its group then presented the, the result of discussion on the Facebook wall. The last phase, its student discussion group provide answer or respond to question via Facebook. <clears throat> The result of this research can be seen from effectiveness of the plot model. I conduct pre-test and post-test. You can see the result from the table one. On the base of the table one, the data show the median pre-test result of 49.92. And the average process result of 72.50. The difference between the two is 12.48, which means there is an increase in the student sign learning outcome after participating, participating in club uh, learning model. After doing the result of the one sample test, I got the data like this based on the result of the sample T test on the operational testing state data. The test T value was 4.122 with a degree of freedom is 29, while the significant value of the T tail test was 0 0.00 because of the value of T count more than T table is 4.122 more than or bigger than 2.309 or PPLU is 0 0.00 less than 4 uh, less than 0 0.05 it can be concluded that the plot model is effective in improving the sign learning outcome then we continue to the other result. You see from the student perception of the plot model, two questionnaires given to the student after the whole series learning with the plot model can be seen in table three. Based on this table three, the average score of student perception, perception in the question is mean 4.17. The results show the student have a positive perception of the plot model, both the motivation, effectiveness, involvement, and the overall satisfaction category. Further explanation of student perception of each category is illustrated in Table 4. Table 4 can see. Table 4 shows that the most participants are motivated to learn with the plot model with the highest average maximum. 4.154. The highest value is indicated the effective effectiveness category with the overall value of 4.22. Although the getting smaller value is 3.99, 3.99, show that positive response to the involvement involvement in the learning 
special inspection and collaboration. So we can discuss about the effectiveness of this model. We utilizing by utilizing Facebook for flip classroom and rich online learning through this learning model provide unlimited space and time for lecture and learners, both, both for sharing information, discussion and collaborating. After all, the flow model is effective in improving student learning outcome. In addition, the students show a very, very positive perception of the flow model, both in categories of motivation, effectiveness, involvement, and satisfaction. Prospect of using Facebook need for research confirmation and prospect of uh, Facebook used to hands time teaching and learning. And after that, you can conclude that a flip classroom empower when we use um, Facebook integrated to other model, you can form well, uh, Flip uh, classroom, uh, flip classroom empower of technology through online learning, and number two, flip classroom is very helpful learning model to pass the education from traditional learning. Uh, we can see from space and time, uh, where the student can share information, discussion, and collaborating. The development of the top model is effective in improving student science learning outcome. The last number four, the most students have a very positive perception of flock model to deliver time both in category of motivation, effectiveness, involvement, and uh, operation satisfaction. The last one, Facebook for using flock model to hand sign teaching and learning need two more confirmation in other institutions. Thank you very much. thank you for your video presentation so the next uh, we will go into the discussion session i uh, welcoming for the participant uh, to submit your question in the chatting room to mr jamri Riza. yes i'm ready yeah we waiting for the participant to submit, yeah. the, <laughs> to submit the question i'm good I'm good participant. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. I wait. Okay, please. Uh, another participant. Maybe a question for Mr. Jamri. It's really interesting uh, article, I think. So far, so good, maybe. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> yeah. Create, I created in the night. So Sorry? I created, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, create my, I create my video in the night to keep uh, voice clearly. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It may, I, it may, I may ask one thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. Please. Then there is no one, uh, you know, raise the question. So, I'm the one who thinking that uh, if we talk about the model, yes. the model could be uh, ex one example, or yeah. the model could be uh, also uh, the prediction. Yes. So, can you elaborate more what the model do uh, you mean here in your study? Because you are mentioned about the transforming from one thing into another thing transforming is uh, transforming is something like uh, making a difference so what's the role of no model here that you want to convey to this uh, in your uh, study um may i answer the question yeah please. okay um <clears throat> we have already known that um, social media is eye-catching for students today and but unfortunately, social media only does for uh, chatting only for informal communication. But why not the eye-catching uh, social eye-catching uh, eye-catching media can be harnessed by lecture and university students 
to, to, to study. So I tried to design uh, to to use this model uh, by using Flop model, Flip Online Facebook model to, to, to facilitate student learning. Maybe this model can be adapted for, for another uh, lecture and another educator, uh, not only for you, just for the social media Facebook, maybe for Instagram and other social media. The context of this research is social media, not learning management systems. Yeah. Okay, so so the model here meaning uh, the exam a good uh, a good uh, le lesson learn a good learning something like that, right? Yeah. Yes, I did. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, thank you for the question, Mr. Erwin Shah. Maybe I still waiting for only one question again from another participant before we close this discussion session for Mr. Jamli. Any question? So far so good, maybe. So far so good. <laughs> holiday today, maybe. <laughs> the people think about holiday. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think... There are no questions. <laughs> yeah, uh, time is over and there are no questions again. So uh, thank you, Mr. Jamli, for your attention and your time to join with us today. And I hope no, you are no. still in here uh, yes. until the end of this session. And inshallah, inshallah. Okay, I will go into the next video presentation. Oh, sorry. Before we go into the next video presentation, uh, Mrs. Yulilina, are you in here? Mrs. Yulilina? Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, before Hello. we go into the next video, maybe I will uh, give you five minutes for discussion session because uh, you are still not in here when, you are, when your video is <laughs> yeah. in. <laughs> Maybe uh, for the participant, uh, if you have uh, some questions to Mrs. Yulina with the article, The Effect of Digital Book in Collaborative Multimedia Learning Model and Learning Motivation on Learning Outcome, uh, I welcome you to give uh, her question for five minutes discussion. Any question? Uh, for the video, maybe we can play again in a yeah. Play should, again for one show minute. The, we should show, show again the video. Mm. Make sure that I think can... one or two minutes for remembering. Yeah. Again, the slide. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to say thank you to the moderator for this opportunity for me to present my research that I did alongside with Mahrawi Suprapto from Kuntirta. Entitled, The Effect of Digital Book in CML, or Collaborative Multimedia Learning Model and Learning Motivation on Learning Outcomes. Introduction. I will explain about the research starting with presence of learning outcomes. Several factors affect uh, learning outcomes, one of which is learning motivation and learning media use. For the, the video playing, of, maybe you can uh, submit your question in the chat room. That can be used so in the community uh, a digital book, question. develop using the Flipbook book application to become interactive media. And then about collaborative multimedia learning, or CML. 
Collaborative multi multimedia learning is one model that can help in constructing student knowledge. The use of this model by using computer-based multimedia makes students increase understanding. Method. This research uses the science using associative analysis. The variables used okay, maybe in we can study skip the video uh, forward to the result and discussion okay. and okay 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 go, go on this okay. is a zero go on uh, to the next conclusion 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 maybe okay this one the third the use of digital books in the CNL model together with higher learning motivation are interrelated and influence its other on learning outcomes. Thank okay. you. I think it's... I have a question. Uh, yeah, Mr. Jami, maybe. Okay. Um, For one question. My question is, what are uh, prerequisite to implement it, just to implement this model, because we should use whether the student use the mobile technology like HP or the computer base. So, uh, what what are the prerequisite skill to be should be mastered by the student to implement this model? Thank you. Okay, thank you, Mr. Jambi. Uh, Mr. Julina, uh, are is the question quite clear? Mrs. Yulina, are you in here with us? <laughs> Mrs. Yulina? I think I've seen now. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I cannot hear. Uh, uh, can you submit your question maybe in a chat room, Mr. Jamri? Okay, okay. Okay, it's my question. <coughs> what are prerequisites? What are prerequisites still? still yeah. okay. okay, thank you. Mrs. Shililina, can you hear now or can you? Please answer the question. <coughs> Hello? Yo, yeah, hello. Uh, the hello. question, the question is, the question is, uh, there in the chat room, uh, from Mr. Jambi. Uh, the question is, what are prerequisite skill for implementing this model? Uh, maybe you now, uh, maybe you can, uh, answer the question now. Mr. Serena. Are you with us? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. You, uh, hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, can you? Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, there, there, there is a question uh, from Mr. Jamri. The question is, what are prerequisite skills for implementing this model? Okay, okay. Uh, 
Well, I'm sure it, uh, the signal is not supporting. Ah, yeah. Today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. It's okay. Perfect. So maybe now you can uh, answer the question. Yeah, okay. Hello. 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 Are you there? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Hello, Mrs. Shuina. Hello. Ah, uh, yeah. You can <coughs> answer it uh directly in uh, if you can. Oh yeah. Okay, we yeah, I will wait for a moment. If it's possible, maybe you can answer it by uh, directly. If the condition is really bad right now, Mrs. Yulina, the final. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, because we have a limited time, uh, I think uh, Mr. Shulina will give the answer of uh, the question by email, Mr. Jamri. Yes. Or we can waiting her uh, writing in the chat group. Okay. So now I will closing the, her discussion session and I will going to the next video presentation. Is it quite good? <laughs> it's okay? Okay. Uh, I will go into the next uh, presentation, uh, the video presentation by Mr. Tom Maskun with the title of Article Implementation of Problem-Based Learning to Improve Knowledge of Ecosystem Concept on Elementary Student Bandung City. Okay, so uh, please play the video now. Thank you. Baik, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, the first of time, I want to introduce myself. My name is Pani Aswin. Uh, I'm attending here as presented uh, in the third, the second science and Math mathematics international conference, SMIC 2012. 1020 in Universitas uh, Jakarta, Jakarta University, uh, Faculty of Mathematics and Natural Science. So, uh, this is, uh, for for this time, I will replace uh, for my colleagues of Thomas Kuhn as presented. So, the the article, uh, the our article have the title is implementation of problem based learning to improve knowledge of ecosystem concept uh, on elementary student uh, Bandung City. So we continue. Uh, I will continue uh, my presentation. So the uh, the background of this research, the first is the of Bandung City high level. 
So uh, many grow of the building uh, in the Bandung city right now. And then the flood of Bandung city have the impact. The first impact is increase of people. And second is pollution, like it's pollution air, pollution water, and others. And then, and other uh, other side, uh, the uh, Bandung city have the problem, uh, like level concern of environment is low on student, and then strategies of lesson not effective in school, exactly in elementary school. So, the problem uh, will be fixed. Uh, the it will be fixed by the education side. So we try to uh, fix it, this problem uh, will uh, on the way, on the way uh, in education side. So we, knew we choose the implementation of lesson strategies. So uh, this, the lesson strategies, we choose the problem-based learning. Why the problem-based learning? Many uh, research uh, before, uh, before, uh, uh, before then, uh, so to us uh, how to problem-based learning uh, can to improve the uh, knowledge of the environment of the ecosystem concept on the elementary school. So. We try to uh, uh, we try to for this uh, this research. So problem based learning we have improve the knowledge ecosystem concept on elementary school in Bandung City. And then this research is a, a, a experiment of quasi study. So subject this uh, research is. Uh, Five grade student at all different elementary school and all item, all item elementary school. So design of research is design of study use the two process groups. Uh, so the audience uh, can see the presentation. Uh, uh, this design of research help to group and then we treatment. We have two treatment. Treatment one, treatment, the, the first treatment, uh, the best group uh, will be new treatment, problem-based learning, and the second group uh, will be doing conventional learning. And the, and the end of the uh, lesson, uh, the lesson of the class, uh, the student will be uh, will be uh, will be use the test for uh, how 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 to know uh, knowledge how to know the uh, knowledge of the ecosystem concept. So uh, we use data analysis and this research is a novel test technique. And the result of the study uh, so. Uh, so to ask, so to uh, how to problem-based learning can improve the knowledge of ecosystem concept. Uh, the audience see, uh, can see in the uh, slide, problem-based learning uh, have to get to 20.56 score, and then conventional learning get was 17.67. So, problem-based learning uh, have to higher than uh, seven higher uh, score on implementation of problem-based learning than conventional. So, uh, many uh, in my opinion, how to problem versus learning can fix it, this problem uh, can to approve the concept of ecosystem. The first uh, opinion is problem versus learning has to aim to study student's knowledge and thinking through 
and from the shopping process by Damriel M. 2015. And then when Carol test this model, this uh, comfort uh, problem-based learning have to uh, uh, the confuse from the constructivism theory. And this uh, chart, uh, many the result of the research before uh, refer to our works uh, uh, like the Augustine, Agustina Air 2000, on 2017, a teacher, teacher in the problem based learning as facilitator, which uh, yeah, ensured the student building the knowledge structure for room uh, on the problem based learning state. So, the fourth, in the problem based learning, teacher uh, helped, uh, helped to role in the lesson, lesson. So, the teacher uh not uh not dominance in the class but the the student uh can be act can be more active more uh smart and then and others uh can be of this skill and other diseases so in the problem in in the problem based learning a student can do can do collaboration to the another a student so the last the application of uh, problem based learning by uh, environment for environment problem can in can uh, guide the student how, how to know what the what the problem in or uh, environment surrounding in the student so if we use the uh, the match uh, the problem in our surrounding in our uh, in our in environment of school so is be contextual of the uh, for the student and this uh, this uh, concept can be improved by the problem based learning so problem based learning more effective for improve the ecosystem concept of student elementary school. For the conclusion, this research is based on the research has been done. For the conclusion of then our application of problem-based learning can develop of understanding of ecosystem and grade uh, for elementary school students exactly in Bandung City. So problem based learning is more stable to apply it to students who have to concern the environment. So it is my presented uh, our for our uh, article. Uh, if uh, my English is bad, I am so sorry. Uh, I say I hope uh, you all can understand what I mean and I can to share you what we will uh, with what we saw so uh, doing in the past time for the improve exactly for the improved ecosystem concept in elementary school because we 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 have a opinion we have the concept if we, we if we will if we will fix the uh, problem environment we must uh, fix we must refer on the fundamental as an element school exactly so thank you very very much for attention uh, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh hey, thank you for the video uh, at first i want to check the attendance of Mr. Thomas Kuhn. Uh, Mr. Thomas Kuhn, are you in here with us? Because I still not see him in here. Mr. Thomas Kuhn? Are you there? Okay. 
I think he is not in here. <laughs> Go to the sky. <laughs> okay, because uh, Mr. Thomas Kun doesn't in here. Uh, I will just go into the next video presentation but before we go into that uh, i will i want to uh, remember uh, remembering you about the what is that present pre, uh, mm -hmm. for the apa, person you're attending in this uh, maybe uh, our Prata will will send you the link in the chat room so you can uh, click the link and uh, present your attendance in this session. The link only uh, only for five minutes, maybe if I write for the information. Okay, uh, I will informing you again about that uh, when the link is up in the chatting room. So uh, we will go into the next presentation, uh, video presentation by Pani Aswin, Mr. Pani Aswin, uh, for the article development of biology research methodology learning through FGD to train the skill of compiling question and answer in biology education students uh, at Bengkulu University. Okay, uh, so we can watch the video presentation now. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, before of all, I want to introduce myself. My name is Pania Aswin. So I'm attend here for presentation about my article with the my team in, in this article. Uh, for for this time. Uh, I want to introduce myself. My name is Pani Aswin. I am from uh, Magister Program uh, Education Science in University of Bengkulu. So, this article, this research helped uh, the title develop a biology research methodology learning track FGD or focus group discussion to train the skills of compiling, compiling questions and answering in biology education student at Bengkulu University. And next. Okay, for introduction, the university must be improved a uh, skill of student for their lab next time. For example, in, uh, in 20th century, we must have for a uh, skill, uh, for example, like that uh, collaboration, creative thinking, uh, cr critical thinking, collaborate, uh, and then and others. And uh, we also my uh, the student also must have fundamental skill like question skills and short skill and description skill. The three skill must we have for get the knowledge, get the information in the lesson, in our discuss in the class. So the skill, the fundamental skill, uh, make important for the for the all the student uh, for develop the knowledge and the skill. So we find uh, the fact in the uh, methodology learning in University of Bengkulu not yet. Uh, 
give the facility for the 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 for the plot this skill. So for the next time, uh, for, for so we uh, we are a, as a team uh, make a for make a effort for the develop this skill. So what we doing? The first we we doing is change the uh, change the material of methodology research, and then change we, we try to change all this uh, the strategy of teaching. So for this the this the research we we try implemented implemented uh, focus group discussion method in the methodology of research material learning in uh, biology education program university of Bengkulu. so uh, the change in the the change in in the strategy in the strategy on the methodology of research we have for improve the three uh, fundamental skill question answer and description uh, improve and more better uh, than uh, before we change the strategy or we change the method of learning in this uh, material. And so the result is the type of uh, of descript descriptive. The subject the study consists of uh, thirty four students and segmented course uh, the learning and data collection was care uh, about survey method which was accepted by two observer and then the instrument used was the assessment rubric which was measurement used a scale uh, score of four is very good three is good two in and out and then in the last then is one is lace and then the result and discussion the focus group discussion model has take in the implementation which the describe this table so focus group discussion have six stake the first stake is orientation this is a stake uh, this activity condition of position of each uh, student group and explain to stake of the focus group discussion. The second step discussion of the group three uh, division of tasks. We tell to student what we will do and for gallery objection or uh, in the gallery session what are already uh student get from discuss we make a gallery and uh student can visit the another group another uh student in the in the group so in the five resume what uh what that what data uh for the result collecting data for for uh, in the visit the in visit pass in visit a stake well, the student make the resume so the last is group review so uh, from the observation and observer uh, we get for description, uh, get the score 3.1 and the asking 341 and questioning is 3.4. Uh, 3 so the three, uh, three 
skill uh, fundamental skill get the uh get the get the good category for the uh, fundamental skill this is this result uh is uh is changed is be, be better than before the, the lesson so focus group discussion can improve the fundamental skill because the uh, student can plan can understand can uh, make the uh, make the material concept for 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 uh, for the soft and then so to uh, his dear friend and explain what uh, they are uh, they understand about this concept to the another uh, student in the another group so focus discussion group can improve equation skill answer and description so this conclusion this research is uh, Belajar learning this uh, strategy course was developed by applying the focus group discussion method. So, the skill question answering in description description have good criteria. This result indicate that with focus group discussion can facilitate learning of biology uh, learning strategy. So, for the next uh, resort we can uh add 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 and we can we can use the focus discusses group uh refer and uh, improve the skill the fundamental skills student in high education so uh thank you for attention so this is the reset our research about uh, develop the methodology material can material learning in Belgian education Bengku, uh, in University of Bengkulu uh, and then I say thank you for you all are you there Okay, thank you for the presentation. Uh, I will check Mr. Pani Azwin. Are you here with us? Can you hear me? Are you there? I want to question. I have to give question. Are you there? Mr. Pani Azwin? I think he's not in here. <laughs> I think he a uh, minute ago, but now he's not in here, I think. Mr. Pani Aswin? Are you there? I want to give the question. I want to ask question about your research. He's not in here, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, because he's not in here, maybe uh, we can go into the next video presentation uh, by Han uh, Mrs. Hanna Safitri with the article Relationship between Environmental Pollution Knowledge and Green Purchase Intention of Students. Okay, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, moderator. Yes? Uh, you, you make sure that the presenter uh, present when when uh, you, you you display the, the the video uh yeah uh, because we have a list of the video uh we will uh playing the video first and if the participant not in here we uh for the what uh for the uh our discussion uh <laughs> the committee con for the from the committee uh we will next to the uh, video presentation so yeah okay uh 
Okay, I will go into the next video presentation by Mrs. Hana Safitri. Please uh, play the video presentation. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. Lecture. My name is Hana Safitri from Universitas Negeri Jakarta. In this opportunity, I would like to present my research with Mr. Ade Suryanda and Mrs. Dr. Diana Vivanti. The topic is about relationship between environmental pollution knowledge and green purchase intention of student. First, we talk about the abstract. Environmental pollution knowledge is a result of a person sensing that obtained from the entire of substance that are detrimental to environment and affect the use of research. Environmental pollution knowledge can play a role to form green purchase intention. Green purchase intention is intention to do and keep doing purchase or product that are less or less harmful to the community and the environment. This research aims to know the relationship between environmental pollution knowledge and green purchase intention. 180 students which was selected by a simple random sampling. Research conducted at four universities of DKI Jakarta province in November 2019. The method was a descriptive with correlational study. Data were normal and homogeneous. The research showed a positive relationship between environmental pollution knowledge and green purchase intention of students. This implicated that students have to raise the environmental pollution knowledge in order to change the green purchase intention. Introduction. Environmental damage continue to grow. This has resulted in increased public awareness of the resultation of village in the ecological aspect. Environmental pollution is mostly caused by waste products from, in, from industrial and household waste. Most of the circulating products contribute to the environmental pollution. The pollution comes from raw materials, the production process, the use of product, and the sustainability of the existence of products that are not environmental friendly. Green products are products that have considered environmental aspect through their life cycle, so there is has minimal impact on the environment. For that, we need an inner determination in the form of intention that will encourage the individual to make more effort to buy green products, known as green purchase intention. Research method. This research used descriptive method through correlational study. The study was conducted in November 2019 at Universitas Negeri Jakarta, Universitas Indonesia, Universitas Prof. Dr. Hamka, and Universitas Nasional. School selection is done by purposive sampling with the target population in this study are all students majoring in biology and biology education in Jakarta. Based on Taro Yamani formula, a sample of three and 20 students obtain as many as 180 students using simple random sampling technique. Test instrument used to determine environmental pollution and non-instrument to determine to determine student green purchase intention. Result and discussion. The result of the frequency distribution of the value of environmental pollution show that students have quite high environmental pollution knowledge. This can be understood by students who all already have a fairly good environment pollution knowledge. In accordance with the secondary data collected, we know that students have obtained a classes about the environment as such as environmental as science and ecology. The results of the calculating of green purchase intention in students show that the majority of students have a good intention to buy environmental friendly product. The result of the whole study on biology student at Universitas Negeri Jakarta, Universitas Indonesia, Universitas Prof. Dr. Hamka, and Universitas Nasional show a positive relationship between environmental pollution knowledge and green purchase intention. Someone who is at a productive age, such as student, has a good knowledge of the environment belief to have a higher intention to buy green products. Someone who has environmental pollution knowledge will try to minimize the occurrence of environmental pollution one way by using green products. Knowledge has significant impact on the process and consumer have the knowledge and increase awareness and positive attitudes towards green purchase intention. Such knowledge will be important information to humans 
because humans are really ra rational creatures and use the information 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 they have systemic systematically so their knowledge is the basis for reasoning and differentiating between good and bad things the correlational coefficient value is no point two five the coefficient of determinant value is no point no six five which means that the environmental pollution knowledge variable contributes only six point two five percent to the green purchase intention variable while 93.75% are influenced by other factors. Based on Arikuto, the data relationship is classified in the low category. However, even though the level of strength, the relationship between environmental pollution knowledge and green students' purchase intention is low, the significance calculating result obtained by T arithmetic are greater than T table. The count 3.44 and t-table 1.653. The this result indicate that the two variables still have a, still have a significant relationship. The conclu conclusion, based on the result of the study, it was concluded that there is a positive relationship between environmental pollution knowledge and green purchase intention of students. This result indicates that students are, import, are important to have environmental pollution knowledge. So students have, uh, have the intention to buy green product in their daily activity. In its application, it can encourage students to preserve the environment and it can be reduced environmental pollution. Acknowledgement, we thank to Universitas Negeri Jakarta, Universitas Indonesia, Universitas Prof. Dr. Hamka, and and Universitas Nasional for their cooperation and assistance provided during the process of research. Thank you. Okay, thank you for the video. Uh, this is Hannah Safitri, are you with us? You can uh, on your microphone if you're with us. I look at in here you are yes, with us. okay uh for the other particip participant if you have some question maybe you can uh write it in the chatting room or raise your hand with the rise rise hand feature mr jamri or mr erwin maybe yeah have any question I, yeah uh, very simple, not simple, but I would like to know the very simple, but, uh, you know, for me. Why you, <coughs> why you put the, what's, uh, the, the, the green purchase intention, the green purchase intention, uh, in my understand, understanding is a willingness to buy the green product. So why you choose this uh, factor uh, to make an indication of uh, pollution knowledge? Because in my knowledge, in my understanding, that uh, the pollution uh, would be very much depending on the economic growth and depending on the uh, technology and depending on the behavior. So this is uh, quite uh, far from the theoretically, but maybe there is another theoretically mentioned the relationship, the relationship, the relationship between the uh, you know green uh, purchase intention uh, with the pollution knowledge. Thank you. Okay, yes, Mister uh, Erwin, thank you for yes. your question. Uh, green purchase intention. Uh, is different with willingness to pay, but it's uh, still in the same uh, point of view, uh, maybe, I think. Uh, my, uh, that's uh, my per green purchase intention different between willingness to pay. Uh, that's like your question. Uh, willingness to pay is depend on their is more depend on their uh, 
technology, economic, but uh, green purchase intention is just her or people intention or willingness in their own intense intention uh, without seeing the technology or their economic. Maybe that's uh, what I think. Is the, is the answer quite enough or you want to asking another? Yeah, I may, I may suggest maybe to put uh, a good theory to support this, uh, uh, this uh, research in the full paper. So then the reader will be uh, well informed about why you choose this, uh, uh, this, uh, this parameter. Thank you. <coughs> Okay, thank you. Yes, Mr. thank you, Mr. Erwin Shah, for your suggestion. Thank you, Mr. Erwin, for your question. Maybe one question again for another participant. Okay, from Jamri. Okay, uh, Please, Mr. Jamri. The article is very good, the in processing intention. The problem today we are facing in Jakarta, so it's it's very difficult to buy the green the, the green product. Most of the store today offer offer not green, not green product. So maybe it's like uh, what we see, uh, like dream only, only exists in our mind, but never become the reality. So how do the, what is the next strategy? Not only attention to uh, to purchase the green product, but how to implement it become reality. What is strategy? Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, uh, the implement. Uh, I think we need to inform the students. Uh, how important the green product is and. The information uh, about the green products itself, because uh, not every students know what exactly the green product is. Uh, they ha still have the misunder misunderstanding and misleading about the green products. Uh, maybe the implement that we can apply first it give the more information clearly, clearly about the green products itself. Also, there is the gap. There is gap only. So, how do you eat something? But there is no, there is no food in front of you. Only eat in your dream. I think oh. uh, uh, naturally, naturally, human being like something green. But never. Uh, but when we buy the green product, in in some store, mostly the store in Jakarta, don't provide the the the, the green product. So when, <laughs> what should you do? Uh, will you promote your research to the factory to produce the green product? I say, I think so. <laughs> uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Jamri, for more information. Maybe uh, that's what uh, I can prepare for next my project, yes, maybe. Okay. Yes. yes. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you Mr. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Mr. Jamri and Ms. Hana Safitri, <coughs> uh, for the question and for the answer. It's a really good and nice uh, topic for uh, your research. I hope you can elaborate again your research in the future. Uh, okay, for the next, uh, we will going again to the next video presentation by Miss Safira Ramadanti Aditya Ningti. I think she is uh, with us now uh, with the title of the article, The Perspective of Conservation Behavior and Environmental Pollution Knowledge from High School Students. Okay, please uh, play the video now. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, I am Pastor Ramadan Dedi Anansi from State University of Jakarta. Here, I would like to present my research with Mrs. Diana Vitali Sigit and Mr. Adi Subenda about the perspective of conservative behavior and environmental pollution knowledge from high school students. 
I am started my research based on a fact about the recent conditions that have been slowly polluted with impacts such as the destruction of living organisms. One of the most effective things in dealing with environmental issues, including environmental pollution, is through education, because education can improve someone's attitude and also behavior to preserve the environment. Indonesia has implemented education through knowledge about environmental traits, especially in high school, student majoring in science group through one of the topics in biology subject. One of the behavior that can be associated with environmental pollution is conservation behavior. This means education can develop knowledge for involve improving responsibility and also build conservation behavior for students. This research was conducted in November 2019 at Tab School, Jakarta Senior High School. This research used descriptive method through correlational studies with 100 students as respondents. I used to kind of instrument. There are instrument tests of environmental pollution knowledge with practical question and instrument on test of conservation behavior student with 39 statements. Result and discussion. After that, we got some result. This is the first result from table two. It shows that there are three levels of score for environmental pollution knowledge question. There is high, middle, and low. As you can see, there are 22 questions which belong to high score level and nine questions which belong to middle score level. Based on this result, it can be said that the environmental pollution knowledge of high school students in the good category. It shows that most of students can understand about environmental pollution. Next, table four, it shows that there are also three levels of scores for conservation behavior statement. There are high, middle, and low. As we can see, there are eight statements which belongs to high score level and 31 question which belongs to middle score level. Based on the result, it can be said that the conservation behavior of high school student is in the good category. It shows that most of students can practice to preserve and ferment whenever they need to do. Okay, so we got coefficient correlation number that is 0.283. The result of the whole study are that there is a positive and significant relationship between environmental pollution knowledge and conservation behavior of high school students. With the existence of a knowledge in a person, someone will have an attitude and will later form a behavior. This is relevant to the research conducted by PR, who stated that Knowledge about the environment is very related to students' attitude toward the environment. These attitudes are the main factor in influencing student behavior toward the environment. In other words, if the knowledge process by student is good, then the behavior of student toward the environment will also be good too. This is caused by the habit of student in taking action is always influenced by what they already know. If they have good knowledge, then their action will tend to be good too. Okay, and this is the coefficient determination. Based on the calculation result, also obtained the coefficient of determination of 0 0.08, which means the influence of environmental pollution knowledge on conservation behavior as much as 8% and 92% are influenced by other factors. Some other factors in question include personality, economic level, living environment, and self-motivation. So the conclusion of our research is based on the result of the study, it was concluded that there is a positive relationship between environmental pollution knowledge and conservation behavior of high school students. This is show that it's very important for schools to give environmental pollution knowledge to students because they can implement conservation behavior to their daily activities. In application of conservation behavior, the student will be able to contribute to environmental preservation so, so the environment can be more preserved. So this is the end of my presentation.
Thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you for the video. So we will go into the next uh, discussion. Uh, Miss Shafrina, are you with us? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm here. If there, if there are some questions, maybe participant can uh, speak directly or uh, writing in the chatting room. I yeah, will maybe. give you. Okay, yeah. Mr. Erwin, uh, please. Your yeah, since there is since there is still on the environmental issue, yeah, I would like to wish the presenter Miss Shafira, 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 Miss Shafira, Shafira, yes, to consider about the CAP survey, knowledge, knowledge, attitude, and practices. This is a very famous uh, survey in the world that you you. Uh, I suggest you to consider uh, to add a bit in the in the paper because in the capture in the cap survey it mentioned about knowledge as uh, similar that uh, in, uh, as your as your uh, presentation and attitude also you mentioned about the behaviors but you didn't mention about the practices the implementation in the field. But I believe you have that information maybe in the for a deep uh, discussion. You may take that information from you know other literature to enrich uh, to sharpening that uh, your paper to make it a very good paper. Thank you. This is kind of a you know comment and uh, suggestion. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Erin Shea, for your suggestion. And I think I will write down again for the other iteration about that. Thank you. Okay, for other question? Maybe. Any question again? Hello? Yes, hello? hello. Yes, hello, Mr. Jamri. Okay, yeah. You, Do you have you, a question? I think you, this is Mrs. or Miss? Mrs. Safira? Miss Safira, okay. Ms. Safira, yes, Mr. Jamri. Uh, your question, your research is very good. Uh, the knowledge about, what is it? Knowledge about environmental, yeah? Environmental pollution. Environmental pollution and uh, behavior. Yeah, but conservation high, behavior. Oh, uh, yeah, so you're high school, yeah? Yeah, for high school so, students. The, the problem today, how do you inform only personally or integrated? Uh, uh, you should be put the material into the curriculum. How do you uh, do you do it? Do you do to the, stu uh, to the, the, to the, to the students? Give the information personally about oh, this? Oh, yeah. Or to the uh, should or... be integrated the curriculum? Oh, this your question is for the pollution knowledge or conservation behavior, Mister? Yes. For both of that, yeah. Uh, for the environmental pollution, there are some material uh, material in biology subject, uh, but for the conservation behavior. Uh, I try to I try to get the student know by tell them what is the importance of conservation behavior and uh, and I think the student can understand because the conservation behavior is easy to do for daily it's like maybe for the example they used uh public transportation uh, for that example i can tell them how uh, i can tell them there's a uh, very important for they know the conservation behavior i think that's my answer okay i think uh the conservation behavior not only knowledge here not uh, only yeah not only knowledge, knowledge but that's the, the action there's action in daily behavior. Action. 
yeah yes you have here yeah, not 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 only knowledge not only so, knowledge so so how do you measure that there is the relation between pollution and uh, conservation behavior oh how yeah how i measure the behavior yeah, the conservation yeah. behavior yeah yes, yes i used the instrument from kaiser the instrument is asking about the daily activities oh i see uh, yeah the daily activities the conservation behavior they do yeah i used the old uh, instrument yeah i didn't i didn't make it but i used the old instrument okay. from kaiser so the my, my question is you only interview them uh distantly not face to face oh. there's a video record because some yes. someone can be uh, can be uh, saying something something wrong maybe oh yeah uh, yeah so you only ask the someone question without confirm with the reality maybe you observe the student whether the knowledge is as a relationship between the knowledge about pollution and conservation uh, behavior it should be observed yeah. directly to make sure oh okay yes uh i uh there's that's true it, that's true that i only ask them or yeah i only ask them but maybe that can uh... hello have you done hello hello, hello? yes okay have you done for the answering the question oh not yet not yet, not yet. Oh, not yet. yeah Oh, okay. maybe one minute again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, hello, Mr. Jamri. Uh, for the observing the student, I think I will do in the next, my research. Okay. For so now, yeah. And for now, I just give them a question okay. for question the only. Question for only. Yeah. Okay. yeah, only questionnaire. Okay, for uh, future research, yeah? Yeah, for future research. Okay, okay thank you very much. For okay, you. thank you, Mr. Jamri. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Mr. Jamri, for the question, and Mr. Erwin, Erwin for the question, and thank you for uh, Ms. Safira for the good answering. Uh, we will go to, okay, uh, we already have nine presenters, and based on the schedule I have, we must to take a break, but uh, the committee said that uh, we can going forward, we can going uh, continue to this presentation because we just we only have three presenter again. So I think we can continue to the next presentation. Uh, is it okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, so I will continue for the next presentation. Miss Steve, Nina, are you in here with us? Yes, I'm here. Okay, okay thank you. Uh, the next video presentation by Mrs. Nina Hardiana with the article Scientific Reasoning Skill Best on the Structure of the Student Concept Map. So we can watch the video first. Thank you. Integration is still best to use the structure of this video. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Inna Haryana. I'm from Biology Education, Universitas 11 Maret, Surakarta. I as a first author in my article and the second author in my article and as a corresponding author is Sri Widoratno. Today, I want to explain about my article. The title of my article is Scientific Reasoning Skill Based on the Structure of the Student Concept Map. 
introduction. Scientific reasoning skill has a three component. The three component are claim, evidence, and rebuttal. Claim are supported by evidence for different reasons when rebuttal provide alternative explanation and provide evidence that support this alternative reason to refute initial claim. So the three are interconnected. The relationship Claim, evidence, and rebuttal form a pattern or structure and can be visualized by concept map. Concept map has a variety structure. In my article, there are three structures. There are can structure, spoke structure, and net structure. The relationship between concept map or CM structure and component of reasoning skill is part of the assessment. So in research required, and which is the basis for further research. Method. The method used was a study of various literature from 2000 to 2020 with limited reasoning skill, structure, and concept map keywords. Literature was analyzed by connected the CM structure caused by scientific reasoning skill obtained from the learning process of evidence, events, rejection into an assumption that allow for further research. The following research literature was reviewed. There are 23 literatures. This is a results and discussion. And the figure one is about concept map structure. In the figure A is can structure. And the B figure is spoke structure and the C figure are, is net structure. Can structure, that is the basic concept, is connected with the next concept sequentially. The links are composed so it is meaningfully read as a whole. So the can structure, a very simple of concept structure of concept map because the form is linear. Spoke structure that is the connect of connecting only one level, links between simple concept and no cross link. And the net structure that is the basic concept is connected with the other concepts on several levels and integrated with each other. And the figure two is about framework of scientific reasoning skill. There is a claim was supported by evidence and there are a rebuttal. The rebuttal or claim was rejected in the claim in the first and it's supported by evidence too. So the scientific reasoning skill has a three component. The three component are claim, evidence, and rebuttal. Scientific reasoning skill of students are influenced by student representation. Strong representation results in the relevant information. Relevant information is due to good student domain knowledge. Knowledge domain are facilitated students to draw appropriate conclusion or claim and help assess the relevance of evidence. Conversely, the domain Knowledge of student is limited is result in accurate claims. Domain knowledge can be summarized and represented in form of concept map. So claim and evidence created by student can visualize it in form of concept map. Concept map student is connect concept. One concept and another sometimes experience gaps that define us the shorter part of the connect concept map. The shorter part concept map connect concept that experience gaps. The knowledge that experience gap in scientific reasoning skill are called rebuttal. So that ex scientific reasoning skill concept of claim, evidence, and rebuttal aspect <coughs> can be visualized in form of concept map, meaning that the possibility of scientific reasoning skills can be measured with the student concept map.
the CM can is linear structure in which it connect its concept with other concept in sequence. Sequential concept show cause and effect. The explanation of cause and effect is a conclusion or claim. So the can structure shows students scientific reasoning skill that only produce claim. The structure of the book CM connects all specific concepts with the main concept. The spoke structure shows a lack of understanding of the relationship between concepts. So, the spoke structure might show students scientific reasoning skill that produce conclusion or claim along with supported data or evidence, but the possibility of students not understanding the relationship between the two. The CMNet structure is a hierarchical and integrated concept structure. The next structure is the most complex structure. Complexity can be understood to be system of top. System thinking influences scientific reasoning skill. So the next structure shows students scientific reasoning skill that are complex. This is a conclusion. Based on the analyzed result of CM structure studies and scientific reasoning skill instruments used to measure scientific reasoning skill RCM structure associated with claim, evidence, and rebuttal. So that research require an instrument about the measurement of scientific reasoning skill with the basis for further research. Okay, that's all. Thanks for your attention. Goodbye. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam. Okay, thank you for the video. Are you uh, there? Miss Lina. Miss Lina, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay. okay. Um, Mr. Jamie, you have a question to Miss Lina? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, oh, thank you. Thing. Please. Uh, <laughs> Did we conduct yes. meta-analysis? Did you conduct it meta analysis in your research? Meta analysis. Yes, because you collect the article from 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 what time to to the time. There is the, the duration from time to time. Because uh, I think you conducted the meta analysis from the uh, the, the the published article. Maybe yes. is it true? Yes, it's true. I oh. uh, reviewed uh, literature for the yeah meta-analysis. Meta -analysis. My question is, how did you collect the, uh, the, the, the article? Did the, the, the article publish the replicate article from Scopus maybe or only a free article? Maybe the article are not indexed by the repeated uh, indexer? Uh, uh, thank you for... Uh, your question, Mr. Jambi. I will uh, answer your question. Uh, I collect the article. Is the all in the uh, Google Scholar? Uh, I just uh, with keyword three scientific reasoning skill structure and concept map only. Uh, so uh, I not um, I not only. And the Scopus, because Scopus paper in my uh, literature review. Okay, my suggestion is for the future research, you should select the repeated article from published or Paris. There is the uh, application, per, uh, published and Paris application can select on the only Scopus because uh, Google Scholar on uh, maybe it will not index the, uh, not only index. The, the, the well published article, but uh, open source article, maybe. Maybe for the future research, it's my suggestion for you. Okay. Yes, you can, uh, you, you can use, you can use, publish, and uh, what do you say? Uh, this is, sorry, sorry, sorry. You can use application, publish, sorry, sorry, publish, harsing, publish, or Paris application to select the article. Okay? Okay. Thank you for your suggestion, Mr. Jamie. Okay. 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 Thank you, Mr. Jamie, for the question and your suggestion. Maybe one question again. 
to Miss Tina, Miss Nina, or other participants. Any question? Any question? If not, uh, we can close this discussion. Okay, I think there there is not question again <laughs> to Missina. So Missina, thank you for your participation and uh, right. for your answer. Uh, I will go into the next presentation again. Uh, thank you for the next video presentation by Mrs. Norma Sari Sartono with the article with the title of the article song lyric on body defense system integrated with e-modules as supportive media in learning for students. Uh, Mrs. Nurmasari, are you in here with us? Yes, I'm here. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, we can uh, watch the video presentation first and next uh, we will go into the discussion session. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good evening. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to say thank you for coming. It's my presentation. It's great to see you all participation, participation, science and mathematics international conference. In this presentation, we will discuss about my research. Okay. My research title is and song lyrics on body defense system integrated with a module as supportive media in learning for students. First, I want to tell you about introduction. The use of audiovisual media in the teaching and learning process can arouse curiosity, arouse motivation, and stimuli in the teaching and learning process, which can facilitate the teaching and learning process. Printed material is often difficult to display motion and printed pitch. This will make students interest in reading the print learning results in increasing <laughs> reduce. In accordance with the result of the NIC analysis, 36.2 percent of students were more interested in making PowerPoint as a source of learning compared to the textbook, 30.6 percent, and reading on the internet, 33.3 30, 30, percent. Likewise, media and print learning resources are easily damaged in the, if the quality of the paper used is poor. Step that can be taken to overcome the problem above are to integrate the video where the song lyrics contain learning material with a module. Every learning activity in the A module is linked with links as navigation, equipped with video tutorial, animation, and audio presentation to enrich the learning experience. Electronic modules can be used as an alternative source in the learning process. The development of electronic module as a source of learning also received positive response from students. Based on the background, the study revolved song lyric video product on the integrated and module body defense system material so that it is suit suitable for use as a support learning resource.
methodology. The method prefers the concept that was presented by Bort and Go. Product validation by material expert was carried out by a lecture in biology education study program, Jakarta State University. The feasibility test used a Likert scale interpretation. Effectivity in, of the product used the pre-test, post-test control group design method. Sample was student of class 11 science at SMRN 102, Jakarta. 40 students were chosen by simple random sampling. Treatment group was given learning with a module while control class without a module. A module. <clears throat> Next, result and discussion. The result of the feasibility test but by material expert, media expert, teacher, small group student, and large group student can be seen in the table. We can look the, about the validator, average score, and interpretation. An average score, 80.9 is uh, interpretation very feasible. It can be concluded that the percentage obtained is 80.6%. 0.9, I mean, has a very decent interpretation, meaning that the video contains song lyric at the integrated body defense system material with this A module can be used in the learning process. In the product feasibility test by lecture teacher and students is very supportive with the creation of this product as a source of learning support that can be used independently by student. The result of product effectivity testing for treatment class and control class is presented in figure one. Average pre-test score of control class is seen lower than experiment class. Moreover, post-test result of experiment as well a control group show dramatic increase. You can see about uh, the uh, control and experiment. <clears throat> result and discussion. The next step of the result was making videos and making a modules. Learning resource with software system make uh, it easier for user to capture material in a mod more modern way. The development Process to produce the product required hardware, namely PC or personal computer, and some, some software, namely one, a 3G pitch flip professional application to create the final A module, two, MS Word and MS PowerPoint software for, for creating rough design, number three, a Spring Suite 8 application for creating formative tests. Four, Audi City application for editing sound. And five, Window Movie Maker application for editing video. Singing technique referred in, the, in this learning is the teacher engineering in turning material into a song form with the aim of facilitating the learning process as a way that we can use to remember things and make learning enjoyable. The application of singing learning strategies can also increase student activity in learning. How about the weakness about my research? In this product are that they cannot send test answer to teacher via email. Can only be used on Windows 8 and Windows 10 cannot be used on Windows 7 unless you have installed Adobe, Adobe, Adobe Flash Player cannot be accessed via a smartphone unless you have installed the 3G Pitch Flip application. 
is not yet based on a particular learning model or approach and must be named files so that can be opened a second time. The conclusion. The conclusion of this research and the development is the song lyric video on the integrated body defense system and module material is very feasible and effectively used as a supporting learning result. Teacher could use this media in learning as media that might be interesting for students and make them easy to learn. Okay, you can look about this product. That is a product about module electronic biology SMA. Class 11, this is system pertahanan tubuh, defense body. You can look a uh, concept uh, map about this and you can look this uh, have a 3G in this uh, ebook electronic module. You can see 3D, the dimension. And then uh, if uh, we touch a thumbnail, you can see a 3D too about uh, uh, this uh, product. Okay, I think is I think it's enough. Uh, thank you for listening. May all those we have uh, share be a beneficial for all of us. And Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you for the video presentation by Mrs. Nirmasari. Uh, okay, uh, we will go into the discussion session. Maybe uh, to all participation, if you have a question to Mrs. Nirmasari, you can uh, okay. I'm say ready. It. Mrs. Nirmasari is ready to accept your question. So any question? to all the participants. Any question? Any question to Mrs. Nurmasari Hartono? I think it's re really clear enough, Mrs. Nurmasari. <laughs> okay, thank you. So there are no questions until now. Uh, so maybe I can go into the next presenter if there are no questions yet. Okay, I will go into the next video presentation. Uh, thank you to Mr. Mrs. Nurmasari Sapano for your attending today and your participation. Welcome, Ms. Daniel. Okay, thank you. Uh, I will go to the next video presentation. We have, oh, we, we are now in the last presenter. Uh, the last presenter by Mr. Mardani for the article, the application of pre inquiry based module to improve critical thinking skill of Islamic senior high school student in Biru'un. Bureau and state. Okay, uh, we will watch the video first and go into the discussion session next. Please play the video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I will explain the result of research study I did 
with the detail, the application of free inquiry based module to improve critical thinking skill of Islamic senior high school student in the state. Introduction Skill in the 21st century that must be destroyed by student is critical thinking skill. Student critical thinking skill can be developed through work of education. The result of observation found at Biran State Islamic Senior High School shows the south that the student at Biran Islamic Senior High School have low critical thinking skill because the learning condition tend to be passive, so they cannot explore critical thinking ideas in solving the problem presented. This condition cause students to prefer only to the answer to teaching concept provided, namely conventional model, to answer to problem given without observing the problem directly. Next, method. A quasi experimental with one group free test cost test design was used in this study. The instrument to measure critical thinking skill by using recent multiple, multiple choice tests. The data were analyzed by using end game and analyze it by using the varied sample data at a significant level of 0 0.05. Result and discussion. Table one to show result of end game score of student critical thinking scale. Which indicator critical thinking skill is focused? Was obtained 0 0.72, the criteria is high. Second indicator critical thinking skill is origin. Was obtained one, the criteria is high. Third, third indicator critical thinking skill is inference. Was obtained 0 0.85, the criteria is high. Fourth indicator critical thinking skill is situation. Was obtained zero phone a two criteria is high. Five criti indicator critical thinking skill is clarity. Was obtained zero point seven the criteria is moderate critical critical. Six indicator critical thinking skill is overview. Was obtained zero point. Five, six, the criteria is moderate critical. critical. Overall, score critical thinking skill and gain 0 0.58 with the high category. Next, table two to show result of fair sample to test. Result of fair sample the test of student critical thinking skill to show significant 0 0.001 less than alpha 0 0.05. Conclusion, based on the result of the study, it can be concluded that the application of the free in Free inquiry based model can be improved critical thinking skill on incremental pollution concept in class 10 Islamic senior high school. Period. Improvement uh, of each indicator student critical thinking skill are on incremental pollution concept consisting of six namely focus, origin, implant, situation, clarity, and overview obtained by the value of end gain 0 0.78 with the high category. Indicator that have in person 
increased significantly found in the region's indicator. Thank you. Okay, uh, Mr. Mardani, are you in here with us? <coughs> Mr. Mardani, are you still in here with us? I see you in here in my Zoom. Can you can you hear my voice, Mr. Mardani? Mr. Madani, hello, Mr. Madani. Can you hear my voice? I uh, will waiting for just one minute again, maybe. Mr. Madani, okay, I think he's not with us now. Okay, uh, because he is not answering my calling, so maybe. He's not in here with us, so we can't we can't go into the discussion session. And finally, we come we come to the end of this discussion, this parallel discussion. And Before close, may I uh, ask one thing? Where is the uh, yeah. the form that uh, participants should sign in this uh, that you promised to share here? Oh yeah, uh, I will share it uh, a little so don't bit. Don't forget to share us here. Okay. Yeah. okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Okay. Uh, finally, we come to the end of this parallel discussion, parallel session. And before we end this session, I ask to all the participants to fill the attendance attendant list by the link was given. Uh, the link was given in the chat room right now. Uh, because the link only uh, available just for five minutes, right? Uh, committed. Uh, you can fill it right now. Uh, I will waiting. You fill it. All of you to fill it. And before we end this session, uh, we the committee will we'll take some pictures, some photos for today's session. So maybe you can turn on your uh, video. And if all of you are ready, we can take some pictures for our uh, discussion today. Is the link work? You can Feel it right now. Have you filled the attending list to the link? Can come to check the name? Good as well. Okay, uh, I remember you again. Uh, the link only available just five minutes, so you must. Uh, fill it right now. The link is on the chat room for your attendance today. And because we must take some pictures and photos for this discussion, for this room discussion, uh, I please you to turn on the video so we can take the picture.
I will be waiting for one minute. Okay, uh, we will take a picture. We will take some photos of them or pictures before we end the session. Maybe, Komite, uh, are you ready? Have, udah. Okay, thank you for uh, today. Uh, Finally, we come to the end of this paralyzation. We would like to say thank you to all the presenters for the informative and uh, interesting articles. And we also thank you to all the audience for your active participation. And hopefully the information uh, that we shared today uh, will be beneficial to all of us. Uh, thank you for your attention. And sorry for the... Uh, Good afternoon. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you.